Hey guys, it's Shannon. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be doing an empties video. I, I have a lot of empties in here. Um, I think the last time I filmed an empties video was about two months ago. So these are pretty much like April and May's empties. Um, I don't go through products like super fast, like some people do. Um, and right now I'm like not leaving the house very much. So I haven't gone through as much stuff, but we actually have a decent amount here. So we're going to go through that in just a second. But first I want to talk about two products that I received in the mail. So, um, both of these products were gifted to me by E. Saint Laurent and I'm super thankful and excited to have these products. So I actually got to request these two products and, um, I'm loving them. So the first one we're going to start with is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the package. This is the Touche Claw High Cover. Um, it's the like newer edition, if you will. This is the Radiant Concealer. So it's the High Cover Radiant Concealer. Now, if you've been watching the channel, you know I have used the Touche Claw uh, prior. Um, I use it actually under my eyes just to kind of conceal and brighten. This one, this new one, the uh, Radiant Concealer, the high cover, it actually is, uh, it, it provides more coverage. So it's really good for dark circles and also to brighten. Um, I have some dark circles. <laughs> I have not been sleeping well. Most of you know that um, our youngest son is in boot camp right now with the Marine Corps. And let's just say that I'm not sleeping that much anymore because I'm like constantly thinking about him and praying for him and just imagining what he's going through at the moment. So um, let me set that down. Um, so anyway, I have some dark circles and I have been using this and it's amazing. I absolutely love it. So I do have it on today. And real quick, we'll just talk about my makeup today. Yes, I am not going anywhere, but you know what? I needed to wear some sparkle eyeshadow. So I'm wearing some sparkle eyeshadow, even though I'm at home. <laughs> it's all right to play with your makeup and look good and feel good even when you're stuck at home. Um, but anyway, so this product is absolutely amazing. My notes are over there. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can, I can't see them. Uh, hang on. Let me try to look it up because I wanted to tell you the price. Um, you know, Yves Saint Laurent is a higher end brand, but all of the products of theirs that I have used have all been worth it. So this is not my first experience with the brand. Um, I've purchased their products uh, quite a few times. And let's see, is it gonna give me, is it gonna give me any information? No, it's not. Okay. At any rate, um, the, the product is very, very good. Definitely, definitely would re uh, recommend it. And I have the color one, which is porcelain. So porcelain. And it was a perfect color for me. So I'm glad that I requested that color. Now, the second thing we're going to talk about real quick is this. This is the Volupt plump in color. So it's the black balm heart plumping sensation, fresh color and shine. I have color, um, two, I guess it is dazzling fuchsia. Now I have it on my lips right now. Here is the packaging. I mean, can we just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful their packaging is? I have been in love with their lipstick and lip balm tubes forever. Um, I just, it just makes me feel like so good to just pull this out and put it on. Like it's just so pretty and it just makes me feel like I have something very special. So I absolutely love these. Now this is the first time that I've ever tried the um, plumping. Did I just say lip balm? Sorry. Do do do. Plumping color. Uh, plumping sensation color and shine. Um, to me it's definitely like a lip balm because it's sheer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the top off and roll it up a little bit so you can see. So there's the color, fuchsia, and it has, I'll turn it that way so you can see, it has the little black heart there in the center. And it's sheer, but it does have color. So 
I'll just add some more, why not? I love it. Now it is a plumping uh, lip balm or lipstick, so it does have that feature. It has the little bit of like tingling and plumping effect going on. Um, beautiful, I love it. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think about the color, but I'm loving it. So thank you again to Eli, <laughs> can't say it. Thanks again to E. Saint Laurent for sending these products to me. I greatly appreciate it. And now let's talk some empties. So here's my bucket of empties. By the way, those products probably aren't gonna be in an empties video for a while because there's a lot of product in them. <laughs> like I to date still have not gone through a full tube of any of my uh, lipsticks or even my Touche Claw highlighter that I've been using or um, concealer. So still have those things, but I'm working on it. Okay, um, let's see. We're just gonna start with the first thing right here, actually get a bin to put my trash in and I'm gonna slide a chair over here to set my bucket down on. I also have a helper in here, Captain Jack, my kitty's in here. You might see him, I don't know. He, he likes to jump up on shelves. Okay, so first thing we're gonna talk about in the empties is this. This is the uh, brand DP Hue, and this is a, I'm trying to close it, it's a touch-up root kit. Now, I get my hair done, let's see, can you see this cat? Do you see him down there? <laughs> let's, let's turn the camera. Woo, sorry guys, do you see him down there? He, no, he's like, nope, I'm leaving now, I don't want them to see me. Sorry about that, okay. Um, I get my hair colored professionally, and with this whole um, pandemic and everything being closed and whatnot, my hairstylist, like many others across the country, was not able to um, continue to see clients. So she recommended this because um, it's a permanent color. It's good for color covering up grays, and she said that it wouldn't like ruin your salon color. So I decided to give it a try. Now this box right here is $30, and in this box you get two applications. So $15 per time that you wanna cover up your roots. I am sorry, I have like cat fur. Whew, cat fur on my nose. <laughs> um, so I used it for the first time about a week ago, and um, it was a lot of fun to do actually. I, you know, it comes with everything you need. It comes with the color, it comes with a little bowl, the brush, gloves, um, pretty much everything you need to do your hair. So um, I was just thinking, yeah, it only comes with one color applicator brush and I threw mine away. So be aware, don't throw your brush away. You're supposed to use it two times. So um, luckily I have multiples of these packs, so I'll just pull one out of the next one. But yeah, you get two, um, two color applications in there. And I'm gonna tip my head forward so you can see. My hair is still a little bit wet from the shower, but um, I hope, yeah, I hope you're able to see. It did a fantastic job at covering up the grays. Like it was so exciting because um, they, they were coming in pretty, pretty dark there. You know, when, when you have dark hair like I do, um, it especially shows up and it's like, you know, I had the big old stripe going and um, I could have done a little bit better because around the edges of my face here, I missed a few hairs. I didn't get them all the way down. Um, but yeah, it did a fantastic job. It does not smell bad. It comes with a little like cap to put on. So I just did my hair, pulled it into a ponytail, put the cap on and I went down into my office and worked for an hour while it was processing. Washed out of the shower, no problems. Amazing, $15. The company doesn't even know I exist. <laughs> Nothing, I'm not getting anything for it. It's just amazing. I, I totally recommend it. I'm super excited to know about that product. Okay, let's move on. So I have a couple hand soaps here. Uh, let's see. I have, it looks like, three. So I have three Bath & Body Works hand soaps here. I have a Happy Easter. Actually, I have two Happy Easters and I have a Perfect Pumpkin from Halloween. So this was, um, the scents in the Carved Pumpkin were, or sorry, the Perfect Pumpkin 
were carved pumpkin, spooky cinnamon, and moonlight vanilla. And it smelled really good. And then the Easter one, it was called Sweet Bunny Berry. Does it have the notes on here? Sparkling raspberry, candied petals, and crystallized sugar. It kind of smelled like jelly beans or something to me, but it had like a, a florally note to me, which I guess would be the candied petals. Um, really good. So if you've watched other empties videos of mine, you know that I have these because I've wanted the bottles for these. So now that they're empty, um, I'm gonna just go ahead and set these aside and save them for next holiday season. I make my own foaming hand soap in these containers. So I just like to buy the cute little container and then I just keep refilling it myself. So these will last a couple seasons for me. So I'm gonna just set those there because those will be reused. Okay, next, let's stick with another Bath and Body Works. So looks like there's a tiny little bit in the bottom that I couldn't get out. This is one of their travel size shower gels. This is the Paris, uh, Paris Amour. Um, I don't think this has notes on it. It doesn't, let me smell. Oh, yes, it just smells so good. So I used this at home, even though it's a travel size, just because I've had it for a while and I'm trying to use my products up before they would go bad. So I wanted to just go ahead and get this done. But also like I would save this bottle and then when I travel somewhere, I could just put stuff into this bottle. Um, and that way I don't have to buy new travel size stuff every time I go. So there's that. Okay, you guys saw this in a haul on my channel. This is the Briogeo Banana and Coconut Nourishing Superfood Shampoo. Now I have not finished the conditioner. So the conditioner is still in my shower. Um, I have, you know, a little bit left. Um, so let's talk about this shampoo. This shampoo is expensive. I think the shampoo and conditioner combined were $50. And this is a 12.5 fluid ounce. So not super huge, especially for somebody like me, I wash my hair every single day. So I could go through this super fast. Now, I chose not to, like I would use other things in between this. I kind of used this like as a treat, if you will. Um, it just smells so good. I've heard people say that it smells like banana runts and that's totally true. It's, the banana smell is so good. Um, definitely loved it. Not looking to repurchase it right now just due to the price, but like if there was a sale or something or if I was looking to treat myself, I would totally re-get that because it was awesome. And my hair liked it too. It did really good for my hair. So from something expensive to something not expensive. <laughs> This is the Avino Nourish and Moisturize Shampoo with Nourishing Wheat Complex and Oat Protein. Moisturizes and smooths dry or damaged hair, which I have neither. <laughs> and I have color treated hair and this isn't even for color treated. So um, again, I have some conditioner in my shower still that matches this, but um, I have this in my collection of stuff and I thought I'm gonna use it. So I don't have dry or damaged hair, but the shampoo did fine. It, it didn't mess up my hair at all. And I loved the way it smelled. Um, this is quite old, I think. So I'm glad to have used it up. Um, I would recommend it. It's not something I'm gonna repurchase just because it's not what my hair needs, but it was really good. Then we have, okay, let's do this one. So this is pretty old as well. This is a dot by Marc Jacobs uh, Fresh Shower Gel. Now this has the smell of the dot perfume, which I have right behind me. Ooh, it's dusty. So I have the dot perfume. Uh, my youngest son actually gave this to me for Mother's Day one year. And it was a part of a gift pack. Um, so you got the perfume and you got this shower gel on it. I think hand lotion or something. So I finally decided to use this up. This is probably six or seven maybe years old, five. I don't know, this is old, I've had it a while, but it still smells great, it smells like the perfume. I'm gonna sniff it again. Yep, <laughs> smells good. I enjoyed using this up. Um, 
I'm a little bit sad it's gone because my baby gave it to me and my baby's gone, but um, anyway, it was, it was really good. I liked it. It was awesome. Ooh, it leaked out on my hands. I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna be smelling like that all day. Next up, I have two deodorants. So this is my favorite deodorant I use right now. It's the Secret Clear Gel and yeah, this one's Summer Berry and this one's Wild Sugar. I like both these scents. I actually like all their scents. They're all good. Um, I like it because it doesn't leave white marks and it works for me all day. I just apply it once in the morning after my shower and I'm good to go. So there you go, two secret deodorants. And then I have, let's do another shower gel. So this is the Body Shop Warm Vanilla Shower Gel. Um, I got this in my Body Shop Advent Calendar that um, I opened uh, last year on the channel. Um, this was not my favorite scent. So I really liked the shower gel. I'm enjoying the Body Shop products. But the Warm Vanilla, it kind of was very florally smelling to me. I'm trying to open it. I can't open it. Open it. Yeah, it has a very floral kind of note to it. And um, I'm not really big on florals. I actually like sweet smells better, like food or sugary kind of scents more than florally scents. But I did enjoy using it. It was a great shower gel. Um, and if you like florally stuff, that would be the one for you. So I also used up a pack of Huggies Baby Wipes. I think was this yeah this was just a regular size pack so the Huggies baby wipes um, I use these when I'm putting my makeup on like to get makeup off my hands or different things um, so here's that and then I also finished up I had this um, Equate Beauty makeup remover cleansing towelettes it was just a 10 pack when we went to New York in February I picked these up um, because I like to just take a little travel size pack with me because in hotels and stuff, it's easier to use these kind of makeup wipes than trying to wash your face, you know, without. So use those, they were good, I liked them. Now let's do two, sorry, <laughs> the kitties. Come here, come here Jack, you wanna say hi to everybody? Come here, let's see if I can get him. Oh, 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 almost got him, he's a big boy. There he is, say hi Jack. Look baby, say hi. He's like, what's happening? Oh, he is such a lover. He's such a good kitty. You wanna get down? You don't wanna do an empties video? Okay, go down. Um, Simon and Ella are both doing well, for those of you that wanna know. They're just, Ella has never been very like around you when you're doing things. She likes to just go do her own thing. And Simon's getting kind of old, so he just, he sleeps a lot during the day. Um, you know, cats sleep a lot anyway, but he's, he's getting to be an old boy, so. Jack, on the other hand, is my shadow and follows me wherever I go, so that's why he's here. <laughs> Next, we're going to talk about these Bath & Body Works wallflowers. Um, I have two here, and see, now I have more cat fur. I had shown these or had talked about these in another empties video where I said I had a collection of these that I hadn't been using and I'm like, watch, I'm going to use them for so long to use them up that then I'm going to like want to use them all the time because I'm going to have like trained myself. Yeah, I'm getting there. So <laughs> I've been enjoying these. I The only place I have these is in my bedroom. And I love walking into my room and just smelling whatever scent I have going at the time. So you'll see what I mean about liking food scents um, or sweet scents. So this one is cinnamon nut bread. So good, so enjoyable. Um, my room smelled amazing. Would totally repurchase this one. Um, yeah, it was great. And then this one also was really good. Spiced cider. Um, yeah, my room just smells so good. Now I have one burning in my room right now, which is, it's like country apple or farm stand apple. I don't know, it's some kind of apple. It's amazing too, but yeah, now I'm totally loving the wallflowers. So I think I have maybe like seven or eight left and then I'm gonna have to go shopping for more because now I've gotten used to using them. Okay, just two things left. 
This is a Youth to the People, well, I cannot read it. Youth to the People, all skin types, Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream. So it was just a little size. You can see it's empty. This was a little sample size that I believe came in one of my Sephora Play boxes. It could have come in Ipsy, like the regular Ipsy. Um, I don't remember, but um, it was good. I used it as a moisturizing cream. Um, I probably would not purchase this just because, well, number one, I have so many already that I can use up. But number two, there's things I like better just because, um, like I like, they have better scents or different things, but it was good. I'm glad to use it up and get it out of my collection. And then very last thing, you guys, this one makes me sad. This is a makeup item. It's the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. So here's what it looks like. It has a little peach guy on the end of there. Let's see. You can see the little peach. Um, I believe I got this, it just has a little wand. Oh, it smells so good. I believe I got this when I purchased some products from them. Like this was just included like as a little sample. And I don't think they make it anymore. And I absolutely loved it. So I don't even know what color this was. It says pure peach on the side. Maybe that's the color. But it was so good. I loved it, but it's gone. Used up, darn. But now I have this awesome new lip gloss to replace it with, so there you go. All right guys, so those are my empties for April and May. We're not done with May yet, but I'm probably not gonna finish anything else by the end of the month, so we're calling it good, April and May. So let me know what you guys think, if you have any questions or if you have any product suggestions that you think I might like, make sure and let me know down below. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you later. Bye guys.